Hey, this is Evil Genome. Uh, I actually signed up for the beta. All I had to do was just send the guy an email, and he kind of just gave me the code. The game does have some problems. Uh, it takes forever to load. Uh, I had issues getting my controller to work at all. You can see here how long <laughs> it's going to load. Sometimes it loads for a long time, sometimes it doesn't. So far, the game is pretty fun. Uh, my biggest complaint, aside from the load times, is that it takes a long time to get going and by that I mean uh, not the the loading <laughs> more just the the progression system uh, it has a lot of cool moves that you can use but uh, they're all tied to levels and until you get those levels you pretty much can't do anything you're pretty much just uh, you have a basic range attack and you have like one combo <laughs> so the beginning of the game has been pretty dry uh, they give you a boss at the beginning that uh, he can decimate you in like a few hits, but you really only have like a couple moves that you can do, and he doesn't stagger. So I don't know uh, how much of the the rest of the game is going to be like that. Uh, I will keep you guys updated. So here's the juicy stuff. Uh, obviously, with these kinds of games, you want to see the kinds of things you can get. So there's a pretty significant move set. Uh, I'm only level 4. Uh, I went up to this side of the tree. So I have like a stinger attack. Uh, a blocking attack and then a low slash that's pretty much it <laughs> so once I get another level or two levels I should be able to get this launcher that maybe things will get a little more interesting so there's some pretty cool stuff in here like counters uh, cool passives and stuff but it takes a long time to get going uh, I don't know if they're open to making changes I would say that uh, the first hour of the game has been pretty dry. Uh, there hasn't been a whole lot of variety in the combat, which is a problem in a game like this, but I think it's cool that, you know, as long as you keep leveling up, there will be new stuff throughout the game. I don't know how long it is. I'm only about an hour in, and a pretty significant amount of that was just fighting with the, uh, the controls and waiting for it to load. Hopefully they have a new game plus. Uh, if there's some kind of new game plus, I think this game would probably be pretty fun to speedrun. Uh, it is in dire need of a cutscene skip. Uh, there is a lot of talking in this game. I was kind of shocked. Uh, the game is like fully voice acted. The voice acting is, you know, not going to be like AAA quality, but it gets the job done. But the problem is, uh, it's all unskippable. So, like, if you uh, load the game past a checkpoint and you don't progress to the next checkpoint, then you'll have to sit through the cutscene again. I hope that they will have some kind of skip in the future. Uh, there's also an equipment system. I'm saying I don't have too much yet. You can see some of these things uh, change the attack and the death. There's quite a few stats in this game. Anyway, let's get to some gameplay here. We don't dare offend them. Good luck to you. Yeah, see, I got a little farther than this on my last uh, session with this game, but since I didn't get to a checkpoint, it makes Lachesis, you watch the cutscene again. There's poison here. Warning. The cone-shaped object ahead contains nerve gas. It'll kill you on contact. It looks like... Okay, here's some gear. They were telling the truth after all. This is another problem. This game has the uh, classic beat em up problem of enemies that just camp off screen and you can't hit. Also, your dodge has a timer, so it takes a little getting yes, used to. You only can stock three myself. dodges at once.
Kevin will not let you go. The translation's actually not bad. This is not a native English game. I believe it was made in China. But the translation gets the job done. So far, I haven't had any kind of like Neo Geo, like 90s Neo Geo quality English. <laughs> like, it's been pretty easy to tell what's going on. The, the voice acting's in pretty good English, too. I don't know if they had people that spoke you know, English natively, you know, in, in the development team or the people that they know in their circle or what, but the voice acting's actually not bad. So what I don't know is how the feasible blood? the uh, the combo system is going to be. Uh, so far, pretty much everything has just been permanently hyper-armored. <laughs> oh, I'll get back to you guys on that, but they were nice enough to give me this, uh, this beta code, so I wanted to make sure that I got something out. But here we go. So this is one of the uh, extended components. Apparently this makes it so the dash attack generates three extra attacks and increases combo points. That sounds pretty juicy. Unfortunate victims. that their brain waves were scrambled. I'm well aware. Why are you here? You weren't scared at all? You didn't know? Benjamin so far the game's been pretty rumors. devoid of color. It feels a lot like uh, that much the original Bayonetta. You know, that game didn't really have the, In the end, most wide range of, of colors. <laughs> this kind of feels the same way. I don't know if it's going to get more colorful later on, but it does feel a little sepia tone. Immediately. We've always wanted to leave this dark place. Are you so if this does have a new game blood? plus, I hope that they will implement Who the cutscenes. Give the cutscenes are I'm a lot like the uh, Star Ocean Five cutscenes so far. Uh, the Find only one that's really had any kind it. of dynamic camera angles has been the intro. Everything else has been the uh, characters just kind of talking. Which of you is Benjamin? What's up? Did you find your treasure? You're Benjamin, after all. It should have been taken by the Freedom Blood. The Freedom Blood. I imagine if this was not voice acted, she could just mash unknown. through it. But the way it no is now, you just kind of have are. to. Uh, I heard that a man called the Scavenger would it. handle them occasionally in the market. He's got to know where to find Freedom Blood. So you want to find the market? Go over the steel-framed bridge, past Mount Amang, and you'll find it there. I can't be here now. My brothers are waiting for me. Looks like I have to go to the market now. Check the location of the airship crash. Check if there's anything left. I finally got out of that damned underground cave. The sun <laughs> feels spectacular. Yeah, the past, uh, like, Ultra uh relate to the character here. The past, uh, about 45 minutes of this game has been just a dark color. Through Project Origin, and is immune to most Survival signs are in danger. If exposed to UV or require an extended period. Alright, well I don't know where the next checkpoint is, and apparently I'm going to get bodied pretty soon, so... I'm going to go ahead and stop there. Uh, when I get to a boss fight, or I get a little more of the moveset, I'll definitely let you guys know. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm probably going to be playing this uh, intermittently throughout PSO2, because I have reached the cap at this point. I'm kind of in the, the typical end game for PSO2, which is just you stand around and wait for an emergency quest. <laughs> so I'll probably be playing this. I'll try to get to the end. I don't know if the game is content complete or not. I know that they are doing this beta for the next, I believe, a uh, couple weeks. I think throughout most of August. So if you want, I'm going to go ahead and post a link to their post. I'll post a link to the game and to their post. The game is not out officially yet, but if you have a content creation channel, if you have a Twitch or 
YouTube or whatever. I'm not sure which one they prefer. You can go ahead and just send them an email and they send you a code. Uh, the guy got back to me in like less than a day. I was able to download the game and uh, the only problem I really had was just with the load times and just fighting with the controls once I fixed that. The performance has been pretty solid. Uh, it does stutter a little bit. I don't know if that's just my computer or just poor optimization, but it should run pretty fine. They have the system requirements on the page, so you can go ahead and consult those before you uh, ask them for a code. Anyway, catch you guys later. Peace.